Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about what's going on between you and the person that you are thinking about or dealing with. What are the energies between you and where is it all headed next in the near future? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Cancer watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. So let's jump right in for Cancer. Cancer, what do they need to know? regarding their person, the person they're thinking about connecting with at this time. What is this person thinking, feeling about cancer? What is this person thinking, feeling about cancer? Okay, we have spirit, guided and protected. What is this person thinking, feeling about cancer? Past life. energy towards cancer towards this connection youthful light-hearted and playful i think for a lot of you this is a spiritually guided connection or something very spiritual especially with past life i'm thinking about like literally this could have been a, a, a relationship you had with this person in a past life and now you're meeting again in this life and spirit is guiding this now, youthful, lighthearted, and playful is telling me that this person could be, you know, uh, fun and uh, have a good sense of humor, but I'm also picking up like a young relationship. So the start of a relationship and a relationship that is still in the early stages. Um, we'll see what else we get here. Spirit, what do we need to know about what they're thinking and feeling about cancer? What do we need to know about what they're thinking and feeling about Cancer, you need to know. I need more time. What do we need to know about this person? Oh, I got three. I regret what happened. I have a lot on my plate. I need more time. I have a lot on my plate. Hmm. This person's busy, but I'm trying to figure out. Well, we'll find out if it shows up in the tarot, but. Are they busy with someone else or are they busy with like another situation with work? Oops. What, what, what's they're, they're, they're dealing with a lot, but in what capacity? What else do you need to know about this person? What are their thoughts, feelings, energies towards cancer? The path I am on is leading me straight to you. Another card about being guided to you. I, I have been living in denial. Let me see. Recently, cancer. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't you. I mean. The December reading had something kind of similar. I feel like this is somebody that maybe you're not with right now, but they're headed towards you. Okay, so let's see what else we get here. Let's look at the tarot, move this over here. Okay, so the top row is gonna be how they're thinking, feeling about you. And the bottom row is their intentions, next actions, potential next actions. All right, so messages, messages, please, guidance for cancer, for the sign of cancer. What do we need to know? Regarding love, regarding their friend, person, friend, 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 friend. Four of Cups, the Hermit Reverse, Virgo energy, and the Emperor, Aries energy. Seven of Swords, the Higher Font Reverse, Taurus energy, and Judgment. Wow. Bottom of the deck, Five of Pentacles. 
Interesting. Um, I feel like this person is someone, they could already be in a commitment with someone else or a family situation, something like that. Um, I feel like this person, they're very withdrawn, very far away. I don't think you are with them. I don't know if they even know you. If they do know you, when they think about you, they, they think with like, kind of like, uh, um, I don't know, like being with cancer is a dream, a fantasy, because right now I can't focus on anything but what's what I'm dealing with. Uh, with the Four of Cups here, I'm almost getting someone... Yeah, Five of Swords wanted to come out there. Hold on. What the heck is this? The Ten of Pentacles. With the... What was I saying? The Four of Cups? Okay. The Four of Cups, I'm getting somebody that's almost like... They can't even focus on your connection right now. And I think it's because they're dealing with something else. But the Emperor is here. So this is like a masculine energy that typically gets things done. The Emperor is a doer. So let's see what we got here. Why is the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here? Three of Cups and the Eight of Cups. I think there's someone else. Ten of Pentacles again at the bottom of the deck. I think you're dealing with someone who's not happy with someone else or is not happy in their current situation. So, so they daydream about leaving. Tell me about the Hermit Reverse. Why is the Hermit Reverse here? Knight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like they wish that they could not be so away, not be so withdrawn, communicate here with the Knight of Swords. Yeah, but I think that this, basically, I feel like this is somebody who's dealing with a situation that's very, it weighs heavily on them. And unfortunately, whatever this is that's like weighing on them, if this if it's this third party, I feel like all they can do is dream and fantasize. That's why I need more time is here. It could very well be that you meet this person uh, in the near future and you are very special and they start thinking about their current circumstances how, and how they're, that's more of a burden and they wish they could have things different or they wish things could be different. Um, uh, you know, I'm picturing you like talking to someone, maybe at work, maybe somewhere that you meet this person and they're like, wow, cancer is really cool. I really like cancer, but I can't do anything with cancer right now. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Some of you could have already known this person, like from the past. So let's see why the emperor is here. Why is the emperor here, Aries energy? Ace of Wands. Why is the Emperor here? Well, this Emperor wants a new beginning. This Emperor is motivated. Yeah, and then there are Four of Pentacles. Ah, this is frustrating. Okay, can I get one more for the Emperor? I feel like this Emperor is holding back from this new beginning. Tell me more about the Emperor. Yeah, Two of Wands. This Emperor is holding back. Um, they're thinking about a different future, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're doing something about it. Because when it comes to action down here, intentions and actions, I just see an awakening. I see perhaps a commitment that's severed or broken, and I see a Seven of Swords, someone being sneaky. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why, why is the Seven of Swords here? The chariot cancer energy yeah they could secretly be coming to see you secret visits um secret moves that someone's making away from someone else's eyes you know yeah that's the emperor the, this emperor energy which i feel is your person and there you are cancer by the way with the chariot i feel like you and them it's not supposed to happen or it's there's something off about it um it's like you're meeting in secret or maybe you're not aware that this person is being sneaky with you you know like i don't know if you know that they're with someone else or that they have some other situation but i feel like when it comes to this person's intentions or actions i'm a little worried because the hierophant is reverse seven of swords is here so the hierophant typically when they're upright is someone that follows the rules does things to the letter um cares about how they are perceived 
Seven of Swords is not like that. These two are like opposites. It's almost like this person's like ignoring this part of them to be a Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords, sometimes they're strategic. Um, sometimes they're strategic, Queen of Cups. Can I get one more for the Seven of Swords? But for some reason, I feel like this person is kind of like hiding you or hiding something from you. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Maybe they don't tell you that they have someone else. Yeah, Four of Swords. There's something off here. Be careful, Cancer. I'm, I mean, I don't know if you're aware uh, that this person has another situation or that they're busy with something else. Uh, maybe they don't tell you the whole truth about that or perhaps they're sneaking off to go meet you, hang out with you. This Four of Swords is telling me almost like there's something quiet happening. Um, there's no real action behind any sort of... So if this person is telling you, oh, I'm doing such and such thing, I'm working on such and such thing, I don't think they're actually doing that. This is, this is someone that's sleeping, laying down, they're not talking, and they're not moving. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Virgo, a Taurus does not have to be those signs. Those are just the ones that happen to come out. Tell me about the Hierophant Reverse. Why is the Hierophant Reverse? Another thing I'm seeing here is that this person could be sneaking away from the third party slowly, you know, trying to remove themselves from that situation. But I don't think it's happening quickly enough. Tell me about the Hierophant Reverse. Yeah, Three of Wands. Tell me about the Hierophant Reverse. Tell me about the higher font reverse. It's almost like someone's waiting for this to happen. Yeah, there's this person definitely has some other situation. Cancer. That I'm speaking to a cancer that that I feel a third party is a very strong possibility. Five of Pentacles here. I think that this King of Pentacles is this Emperor, and they're like waiting before they actually sever this commitment. Perhaps because of finances, the Five of Pentacles is here. Perhaps it's just a lot going on that they have to take care of before they're completely out of this situation. Tell me about judgment. Why is judgment here? Four of, cor four of Cups again, okay. Tell me about judgment. I think this person hasn't woken up to the reality, you know. I think this is somebody who bit off more than they could chew with you. Maybe they made promises they couldn't keep. I don't know. But I feel like this judgment is like a wake-up call for this person. Because they have not been open to the reality. Yeah, the devil. Capricorn energy. And then the six of wands here. I feel like this person this person is picturing a six of wands when it's really a devil energy. They're not really successful. Or they dream about success. But that would mean that they would have to make a judgment call about this devil energy. Capricorn sign of Capricorn here. I feel like this person is not open to the right idea or, you know, it's almost like somebody that might be wanting to take the easy way out. I hope that I'm wrong about that. I just, you know, I just, that's what I'm picking up so far. Someone that's a bit like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's like in their imagination, everything's peachy, but that's not reality. And I think that's why judgment is here, because this is someone that needs to wake up. This is someone that needs to make judgment calls. This is someone that needs to make certain decisions that they, they're ready for the world. Otherwise, this Six of Wands, I don't think the Six of Wands could happen. What are this person's intentions towards Capricorn? What are this person's intentions towards Capricorn? Stingray, this is someone that needs to find a spine. Maybe this person just doesn't have the, the guts right now to do what they need to do. I mean, that's not emperor energy, which tells me that maybe they're appearing to you as an emperor energy. Someone that takes charge. Someone that does what they need to do. Someone that is very decisive. The emperor is very decisive and just, they make the tough decisions. But I feel like this person is a two of wands and a three of wands. And this four of pentacles and the four of swords, rather than... Ace of Wands, Emperor, and Chariot. Do you know what I mean? I feel like this person is just too burdened because they don't want to... It's almost like they want to have their cake and eat it too, perhaps. And, and they can't do that in this scenario. What else do we need to know about this person? Lovers. Beautiful connection. 
a connection where this is your partner this is the person you want to be with. This is a soulmate connection, perhaps. This could be a past life connection for a lot of you. Um, I think that the connection is very special, and that's why this person is actually thinking about doing something here. Um, they need more time to get all of this done, but I, I, I hope that they're willing to do things the right way and not cut corners. 